Hello, welcome back to a manic day here at Sewing Street. And um, we're just, the, the good thing about having office staff here today in the, uh, all here is that I've just said to Hayley, is there any way we can try and get more of the instructions as Delphine's here? So if anybody who missed the confetti quilting instructions, if you missed out, stay tuned. We'll keep you posted by 12 o'clock. Okay, are we ready for row four? It's been ages and ages since I've been with lovely Yvonne. And um, I know how busy uh, this uh, sew along has been. So already people have been buying on pre-order and lots of comments. Over half the stock has actually gone already on pre-order. Uh, if you haven't started the sew along, don't worry. What we can do is we can go back and we'll uh, make sure that everybody gets kitted out with the, uh, the first couple of months. So row four we will start with though, which is this one. It's the houses today. Don't worry, we are gonna talk through everything with Yvonne. We will go through exactly what you get in the kit with Yvonne, but as always they're packaged beautifully from Village Fabrics with all of the fabrics plus instructions. Uh, you can see here on the picture, we've just isolated the row. So you have all of the fabrics there needed to be able to, to make row four. Lovely achievable row for anybody who maybe is making their first big quilt. So along with everybody and with the community and with Yvonne uh, as we go. So 31 pounds and 99 pence and inside, let's open it up, let's open it up. I love that, I mean, Yvonne is always, with all of their kits that Village Fabrics put together, very particular about the fabrics that are used. So much so that this one actually looks like rooftop tiles. That is attention to detail, absolute attention to detail. Uh, so you've got all of your really lovely quilting weight cottons, different colours, different sizes, all the cuts ready to go. Uh, your sky as well for your background, it's gonna match in with all of the other rows that are gonna be coming up in the next few months. Plus you're getting Avon's instructions as well, which my word are very thorough indeed. So you've got the picture obviously at the front there, all of your cutting instructions. Uh, obviously there are different houses in here, so different blocks, which means we're learning more skills. We're learning lots of different blocks, but it is all here in diagrams and in text on your instructions. Plus, jot down today's date. When you get this home, 27th of August, you'll be able to watch back the show on YouTube. So that's 31 pounds and 99 pence, 31.99. Plus if you've got any questions for Yvonne, it's definitely worth getting them in whilst she's physically here in the studio. Uh, and we hopefully will be able to answer any of your questions. <laughs> now, before we go over to Yvonne, Kat, do you want to go through the other rows just in case there's anybody who's tuning in? Like me, it might be your first show of, of seeing the, the block of the month. I can't believe we finally got our hands on one. John Scott's normally hogging them all, isn't he? <laughs> so the first one that you get is a bit of a bumper pack, actually, because the first uh, the first block of the month is actually two rows. So you have the first row here and the second row, which is the one with the cat on. But it's very versatile. Uh, I know the, the quilt that... Uh, that Yvonne's been hand. working on, yeah. she's put some butterflies on. You can change it up. Here we go. In fact, I can show yeah. you here. So block one, or row one, I should say. Row one and row two, you can either do a cat, you could do butterflies like here, like Yvonne has done. So the first one, as I said, is a double edition. It's rows one and row two at a special price of 49.99. I love row one because you're learning that very traditional, very classic block as a quilter, your log cabin, but all different variations and how different fabric placements can change the look completely. But it is one of the sort of staple blocks to know as a quilter and you'll probably see it time and time again in different quilting patterns. And they look amazing with different fabrics. And then obviously row two with your fence here. Uh, the end result is gonna look amazing, isn't it? Once you've completed and you've learnt so many different blocks and so many different skills along the way. And it spreads the cost. I know quilt kits can be very, very expensive. So month by month, it's just achievable, isn't it? Um, to be able to know that you'll be able to complete it before the next show starts or the next row, but also uh, financially, hopefully, be able to, to budget it as well. There's no rush. 
Uh, there's no rush, you know that Yvonne isn't going to be there going, right, you've got to be on row three now. You can always watch these shows back on YouTube, of course. So if you do want to to, to uh, start the, the row of the month, then it isn't too late. You can still do it. So that's row one and two. Can you tell me the date, Kat, of when Yvonne was here? It was the 18th of May, 18th of May, if you want to watch the very first show back. In fact, uh, Elliot has very, very kindly put them together into a playlist. So you'll be able to find them very, very easily. Um, so all the shows are isolated on their own. So you'll be able to find them really, really easily. Brilliant. Thanks for that, Elliot. So that's row one, uh, well, row one and row two. We've then done row three, which is your flowers. So this one, another new technique is applique, your raw edge applique. Uh, inside, once again, you get everything you need. I should have shown you in that first bumper pack, you get loads and loads and loads. I know Yvonne goes through it in detail on that first show if you want to watch it back. This is just a bit of a recap. So here you get everything that you need for the next row, row three, which is the flower bed. It also includes your threads, which you can see are matching colors. Absolutely absolutely perfect to be able to do all of your raw edge applique blanket stitch. You don't need to go out and find the right colours in your stash. I spot a bit of Liberty in there as well. Uh, I know that Yvonne is very, very particular in the fabrics that she selects for all of the kits. So you, you are getting fantastic uh, value for money, $32.99. Right. So today, row four, let's go for it, Yvonne, because I know there's loads to show you on this. How are you? Thank I, you for, uh, for, for being here. I know you got I here did. really early this morning. I did. No, I'm, I'm pretty good, thank you. So good. It's great to see a bit of sunshine and it's good to see you. Thank you. Well, it's lovely to be back with yeah. you. It's been months and months. Well, it has. Um, but anyway, here we are. And this is the houses row. And in this particular uh pack you don't have any additional products you simply have fabric and eight pages of instruction okay um, it's as always I like to go through the instructions with you basically tell you how to use them how I have used them whenever I have been making the second row for uh, this project mm -hmm. so you have two houses of which you make two so house one and house six in the row are the same block. The tall houses are row two, are houses two and five, and then the two central houses are different. So you are making four different blocks, so this really is increasing your skill level. Some of the pieces are relatively small. In the tall houses, you do have quite little squares there. You also are uh, on the house number four is also called thrif thrifty variation. So it's a very traditional block and it's using up little uh, little small squares. Yeah. Then we have some half square triangles and the two on the end. This is called Brave World, this particular block. And you have triangles and squares mixed together. So you have eight pages of instruction and one picture. And I confess, I have found a mistake. So if, you, if you're doing this, can you just take out a piece of paper and make note of the fact that we have under the blue sky, we have asked you to cut three and a half inch squares. You actually only need to cut two and a half inch squares for the roof ends for the, uh, it's the fair and square block. So it's this particular block here. Nice. And it's these two pieces here. Even if you forget the three and a half is too big, so that is fine. Yeah. You just trim it back. But um, I was quite impressed that that was the only mistake I found whenever I went through nine pages of instruction. <laughs> so um, what I'd like to uh, do now is to show you initially how to make the roofs because the same principle is used for each of the roofs and then move on to make three of the block houses. So the first thing that you need to make sure is that as Vicky said the 
fabrics, the red fabric and the grey fabric, actually look like little tiles. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant, isn't it? So you do need to make sure they're going the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that uh, keeps it simple. Um, some of the houses have chimneys, some do not. To make a chimney, you are simply adding a square into a line of sky. Yvonne, how do we know which fabrics are for which part? Are there a bit of a key? Because they're all different size fabrics, aren't they? Because on page one, back page one, you have grey. It oh, will fantastic. tell you to cut so many pieces, and that is the roof for the Brave World block. Fantastic. Okay? Just step by step come down through the instructions. Um, I would, I think... How, well, how I did this is I cut um, I cut everything and bagged them up right. into individual little packs, and that's what you, what I have sitting here. Right. So, would you recommend my... doing all of your cutting as a bit of a production line? At the I, start? I think I, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and do it whenever you haven't had your first glass of wine of the day, <laughs> because it is quite a comprehensive list. Um, there's quite a few pieces to cut. So she's talking to you. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting old and grumpy. I can say <laughs> these things, can't I? So um, then, let's get back to the, the the roofs of the houses. So obviously, a roof goes narrower at the top than at the bottom. So make sure that you have your fabric with its little tiles heading down the way. And all you're going to do is to place a square on either end. I have drawn a line across the, across the diagonal of that square, just using a Frixian pen. Okay, just do it again. Um, if you are, I, this is where I like a small ruler. It's just easier to maneuver. And just to double check that you are actually going through the diagonal, line up your 45 degree angle on your ruler across your diagonal, okay? This is going to be your sewing line in this instance, not a cutting line, <laughs> sewing line. Okay. Right, as I move to the sewing machine, this immediately makes me think, now that you have sewn rows one, two, and three, it's time to have a new needle in your sewing machine. So the pack that we put in month one, get another new needle, get a new needle out, it's time to replace the needle. You will have sewn enough at this point that your needle is going to be blunt. Ah, okay. Okay, so um, you have your uh, sewing machine at a 2.42526, whatever the calibration is on your stitch length, and you're sewing on the line, so that makes it easy. Okay. Um, now you are going to cut away the excess and again whenever you have smaller pieces it is easier to use a smaller ruler and I um, have suggested that if you if you can if you have one of these um, rotating mats, they're really very useful whenever you are cutting these smaller pieces. I was first uh, told that this was called a Boston revolver and it's <laughs> okay. always stuck in my mind so it's really hard to say it's a, you know, a turntable but Boston revolver's just got such a, a ring to it, doesn't it? Um, it does make it easier whenever oh. you have these smaller pieces. Well, some of the angles that I end up putting my body oh, in to yeah, try and cut away from myself. Yeah, you're is... actually walking around the table, yeah. aren't you? Because um, rotary cutters are sharp, or if they're not sharp, they should be because it makes it more difficult to do accurate cutting. Um, so I'm again, I have to create the seam allowance, so I'm cutting a quarter of an inch away from the line I've just sewn. The good thing about these rulers, actually, is, is that it's that frosted little part, isn't it? So you can just put the frosted edge, that quarter of an inch. Yeah, I suppose. So, you know, I yeah. never really... My eyesight's not that good, <laughs> I think, Vicky. Uh, but the, the little grippers on the back, um, you know, yeah. that really make it a lot easier. Um, I now need to find the iron, which, yep, that's good. And all I'm going to do now is to 
press that open. So you've checked that your tiles are going the right way, so they're going down towards the wider bit of the roof. Right, so you're, uh, you're pressing towards the blue, towards I am. the sky. I am. And in the, this particular roof is a grey roof, so it is the roof that is for this end house or this end house. Okay, And this then goes across the top. Okay? Your chimney. And your chimney. Did you say we've got a photo come through, Kat? Hi, Lynn. Lynn sent in a photo. What a beautiful photograph. Oh, look at the outside there. Lynn, where do you live? Is this Lynn by the sea? Oh, my word. Right. Your front garden as well is spectacular, Lynn. She's put, hi, Vicky and Yvonne. Here's my quilt so far. I'm now looking forward to receiving the fourth row. I'm really enjoying making this quilt, Yvonne. Yvonne is a very talented lady, and it's, um, it's good that she is talking us through all the different techniques for quilting. I'm loving it. It was so lovely to have a, a little chat with Yvonne, too, on the phone. Oh, oh, thank yeah. you for yeah, all thanks. at Sewing Street for doing a grand job. Love Lynn by the sea in Cornwall. It's been a while, Lynn. Honestly, your garden. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And your quilt, obviously. And your sewing. Your quilt looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It goes really well with your... Uh, it blends in ble very well. <laughs> well done, Lynn. Keep up the good work. Claudia has also asked a question for you, Yvonne. OK. Um, it says, hi, ladies. I'm doing this and wondered if we could... S if we could sew all the rows together already as as we finish them. Um, um, OK, yeah, I have, I, have, I have an answer for that. Um, no problem with you sewing row one to row two and then row three onto row onto the uh, to the first two rows. So sew the first three rows together. Not a problem. What I don't want you to do is to do that throughout. Um, I think we can sew the houses on, um, but by the time we are to here, that's us about halfway up. And at that point, I think, no, don't add row five on. Let's make the other half ah. do seven, six, and five. So and sew those, to those together, then we'll sew the, uh, the central seam across the middle. Okay. Now there is a reason for that. It's because we have a lot of seams to actually, if we can, match up between row seven and row six. And it's going to be much easier if you only have those two rows. So rows one, two, three, four, sew together, not a problem. But then wait. Wait. Okay. Hey, thanks for that. Good question. That's okay. Um, it's a it's a very sensible question to, to have asked. And Is I'm there a particular saying, way you need to press this, Yvonne? Well, I'm just pressing it up to the sky again because um, most seams actually tell you which way they want to go. They do talk to you, don't they? They do. And I just am aiming for as flat as I can get. So we have one roof, roof, roofs made. <laughs> And this is the same principle for each of the roofs across the, the row. That's the easy bit, OK? So we, we're gentling ourselves into this. And you have, um, in, you have a little set of diagrams just here that shows you what I've just done, yeah? I've got another question from Anne, if that's OK, Vaughan. I'm a, I'm a woman. I'm multi. I can. Yeah, I can, you can multitask. What's the word? I can multitask. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Yvonne, is there an is there extra fabric in the packs for dodgy cuttings? Uh, no, but give me a call, and if it's gone horribly wrong, we will be able to sort the problem out. We have allowed some, but not not a huge error. I've got. So to just say. be mindful when you're cutting. Be mindful. Yeah, because. We've had to cut a very large number of these kits. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, and it's really been a matter of being sensible with our fabric supplies. If you have any problem, you get in touch and we will deal with it. As um, we, We've chatted to a, a few people, uh, all very positive, um, so I'm, I'm not complaining. So this is um, now... Brave World block, 
and this is houses one and six in the configuration we have in the quilt. I think it's the first time I've seen this block. It's lovely, isn't it? I, it's one of my favourites. I, if I can work this in somewhere, it gets worked in. So you have um, pieces A, Bs and Cs. You have lights, mediums and darks, and that's what makes this work. And this is um, half of the block. Okay, so this is actually the bottom half of the block. Then you have a large triangle and you have a square and you have two little triangles. Okay. It gives it like a windmill effect. It does, it? but it's an interesting windmill, yeah, isn't it? With a square. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a square. So, um, whenever you are sewing something like this together, you want to have probably used a little bit of the best press. Yeah, some best press because you have uh, diagonals and you don't want these to stretch. The pieces are relatively small. Whenever it comes to sewing a triangle to a square, you start sewing from your corner. So what you're not having to guess where you should be starting on the point. So you start in, the, in a corner. Oh, Derek, I bet Yvonne will know the answer to this. Yvonne, oh. talking about needles. Yeah. Derek said, my needle is currently making a bit of a popping noise as it sews. He says, is it because my needle is too big or is it because it's blunt? He says, I'm asking around and I'm getting various answers. Um, if it is punching as opposed to piercing, right. which are two kind of different noises, if it's punching through, then it's blunt. Um, I wouldn't have thought it's because it's too big. Mm. It does depend what fabric is going through, of mm -hmm. course. I would suggest it's blunt, put a new needle in, and if it's still making the popping noise, then, you know, move on to the next step on the, uh, in the diagnostics, really. Yeah. 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 <laughs> message from Mary as well. Lots of lovely messages for Yvonne coming in. Just literally finishing my PK row of flowers. I'm new to quilting, looking forward to meeting the team in St uh, Stormont Hotel. Stormont Hotel in Belfast. Oh. Right, is this your quilting? This is, yeah, this is whenever Gosh. I'm not doing anything else. Right. Yeah, um, my, my friend Margaret and Helen, uh, the three of us, uh, all, all from Northern Ireland, though, um, well, Margaret's actually know. a New Zealander, oh, right. so that just complicates things, but she's been married to a, an Ulster man for many, many years. Um, we decided it was time to uh, organise a show in Belfast, and we aimed to do this in March 2020, and of course things didn't quite pan out as we had expected. But we have now rearranged and all is well. My ferry is booked and I'm... So you have a date? Is booked. The, so booked. the doors are opening at 10 o'clock on Thursday morning, the 2nd of September. Brilliant. We're going to be there the Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 10 o'clock through to, to 6 o'clock because we wanted to make sure that everyone had a fair opportunity to wander around should we have... Because uh, we want to keep people safe. That's our, you know, yeah. um, I was thinking about it the other evening. I thought, how can I actually tell people this is going to be safe? And what I thought to myself was, I'm actually going to be trading there, as is Margaret. So Village Fabrics will have a stand. Now, do you really think I'm going to go there if it's not safe? Mm. I'm not going to put myself at risk if things aren't safe. So, ladies, that's the, the biggest endorsement I can make to you, that this is going to be safe. Mm -hmm. We've been working very closely with the hotel and the Northern Irish government has just been, like in uh, England, has been uh, easing up on the restrictions. There's lots of access. Lovely. And, uh, you know, we're just... I'm so looking forward to seeing oh. real people. How can I'm, we get tickets for it then? Go to go village, to our website. Fabrics, no, fabrics. no, we're going to quiltfair.com. Oh, okay. Because uh, Village Fabrics isn't in the business of organising shows. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a step too far. But with our with this uh, company that I have formed with Helen and Margaret, Helen is doing such sterling work behind the scenes for us. Um, that is where you need to go. 
to buy your tickets and they're available currently. Oh, how exciting. Oh, it's wonderful. How and exciting. You... There you go. That's the website that you need to go to. Yeah. yeah. And what I'm really so happy to be able to say is that Sewing Street are, are sponsoring us. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and I've just been talking with Haley B. And there's going to be a few... Uh, surprises at the show for uh, for people and uh, well we'll see what happens next year oh, as well brilliant. so um, you know couldn't say thank you a big enough thank you to Sewing Street for doing that for us just getting uh, the word out on social media um, etc and I'm just so looking forward to going to talk to people that spit that sound like me it's going to be <laughs> wonderful um, it's the one place in the world that I go and um, with my children and people turn around and look at their accent yeah. and not mine. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's just wonderful. Um, really looking forward to, to catching up with, with lots of people. Oh, brilliant. Oh, thanks for your message. Thank you. Yeah, um, we, we've had such support from uh, lots of people. Um, and the Northern Irish Patchwork Guild are putting on a display for us. Oh, brilliant. Um, we're going to have um, an area that we're going to call Schoolhouse. Sorry, I, it seems as though I can't talk and press at the same time. Oh, what's happened to this multitasking of on? Well, you, I know. You I claimed. Know. I think probably it's time <laughs> it's for a telly. banana or something, isn't it? It's, it's telly. Um, there we go. So I've gotten my nice little quarter of an inch between the corner of my... Between here and here, so that I should all uh, join up very nicely, yeah? Going to cut those ears off. But at, um, at Quilt Fair, we're going to have an area called Schoolhouse. And we had planned that we would be able to run classes. We don't think it's safe to do that just yet. So instead of um, having people sitting in an area being taught, we're going to have an open area where it's going to be free for anyone who comes to just stop by and listen to somebody talking about something. Oh, great. I love those. And I know for, for sure that I'm going to be there talking about, um, about stuff. It'll probably be some of my, my pet irritants. <laughs> um, so um, I'm going to be talking about needles and threads. Um, maybe do a couple of demos on Christmas things. I know, uh, I know Margaret will also do some. Now, Margaret is a fabric affair, so she has the wonderful Donegal tweed, and it's, it's wool. So mm -hmm. how you work with it is slightly different. Um, you need to be, uh, you know, slightly bigger seam allowances and this kind of thing. So she'll be talking about that. Sounds a fab event. Sounds great. Well, I, I just can't wait. You know, I know I'm going to be absolutely exhausted, but it's going to be oh, such so good fun, it. such good fun. Um, uh, Nikki Foley is going to talk about her, she's going to uh, bring some of her quilts, some of her Irish quilts with her and talk about those. Um, Stephanie Green uh, from Greenacre, she, she will talk about something. Uh, we, and she said, just tell me what you want me to do. So she's going to be talking about something. And so it goes on. We, um, Margaret and I have known each other for years and we're very fortunate that we also know an awful lot of traders for a lot of years. So they've been very supportive. Um, right, I think I'm going to turn that that way. So because I have more seams on, on this side, yeah. I'm going to press towards the bigger triangle. Just yeah. to reduce the bulk? Just to, yeah. Basically, uh, it's going to just sit that little bit better, okay? So, Anyone just tuning in, by the way, this is row four. You can still get rows one, uh, one two, and three um, if you do want to, to make the most of it. Have a look on the website. Um, they will be able to help you if, you if you want to speak to the customer service team also, they can help, of course. Okay, so looking at the time, I think I'm just going to sew these two together and set this down so that you can see how the block will look because then we will have actually machined a half of the 
completed of how the block looks. Yeah, because remember you get two um, houses, you, so you make two of these blocks, yeah. two of the tall ones, and then the two in the centre are different blocks again. Yeah. So you're learning loads of skills, aren't you? Oh, there's lots of block making here. And the finished block sizes, they're about six and a half inch squares. They, they, um, yeah, I think they're six and a half inch squares. Um, so, I now have one of those, yeah? And that then has that set atop it. And, nice. And pieces down the side. Okay, so that's what that is going to look like now. Obviously, this needs to all join together in the middle. So you're going to put your seams in opposition to each other. So then they nest together. Oh, you've been learning We're a learning. lot, haven't you? <laughs> We're learning along with you. Oh. And if when you put your pins in, if you put your pins in through the seam allowances, that keeps them flat and forces the seams to nest together, okay? If your pins aren't straight, then your seams aren't straight, okay? So you want them to look like that. Pin on either side. I say this is as much as I'm going to do because I want to move on to show you an, uh, the other two blocks. Yeah, we've got about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> okay, so that... And as I've, by magic, it's going to look like that. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was great, just like magic. It? Yeah. Just like magic. Here's what we prepared earlier. Oh. A little Blue Peter moment. Oh, absolutely. I'm as old as Blue Peter is. <laughs> so let me show you. This is a thrifty variation. So that's the one with the little tiny squares. It has a red roof. And I just... So you only make one of these. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Is what it is. Again, at the head of the page, it will tell you how many to make. So let me go to the correct page. And there we are. This is house number four in the area that we have, uh, um, in the, uh, the lineup we have here. House number four, thrifty variation, make one. Okay. Okay. We try and be as methodical as we can. This one has a red roof. So same principle, this one doesn't have a chimney. And it has a direction again, doesn't yeah, it? Absolutely, <laughs> and you can possibly see a little clearer on the on the red one. I don't know, but yeah. It, uh, the little tiles. Little tiles, just make sure your tiles are going the right way, otherwise uh, it could be a bit iffy. So this uh, block is made in three rows. Um, you're going to start by making the little four patch. So this is where these pieces are quite small. So you have this sort of uh, light uh, mushroomy color and you have the jade. So four patches for the corners. Um, gotta, gotta be sure that your quarter inches, quarter inch seam is pretty accurate for this. Claire, I was going to ask this as well, actually, but I didn't want to, I know that we're short on time, but um, last time I was watching you with John, I heard you saying about your flooring. Oh, my flooring. How is your oh, floor? Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Something strange has happened to my needle. Oh, no. Oh, well, my soap method. Right, well, my floor has dried out. Okay. And I have a date of the 13th of September. No, no it sounds no, like, it, is yeah. your bobbin gone or...? I'm not 100% no. sure what has happened. Something If you need a new tangled. needle, we can get you a new needle. No, I haven't broken anything. I just think that um, thread's got itself tangled. So, um, 13th of September, I'm going to have all my, my dining room and my extended kitchen is all going to have a proper floor. Oh, what is happening currently is I'm... Um, I'm being painted. So as I am here, I have a guy uh, painting all the pieces that were, that 
was either a new extension or that has been affected by the extension. So, um, oh, it's it's. I feel like you. This has been going on for a long time now, Yvonne, hasn't it? Well, it has. But I tell you what, they've been really good company through through lockdown. Yeah, you know, because um, builders uh, were fortunate enough to be allowed to continue working. Um, but uh, yes, it has been nice to have the house back to myself. And of course, this needle just does not want to thread, does it? Um, so. I think there is a th little threader on the side of that one, but is oh, cat saying I don't believe in needle threaders. Well, I don't believe. Um, just whilst you're doing that, anyway, let's have a quick recap on the um, on the kit. So the the row four, which is the one that we're looking at today, as always, it, it, it's packed with all of the fabrics that you need, um, cut perfectly, so you can see exactly which ones you use for which. There's a bit of a key in there as well. It'll tell you which, uh, what to cut of what colour, basically. Uh, so you've got your roof tops, you've got your background, your sky, you've got your blue, you've got your teal, uh, your spot. There's all of those fabrics. Plus, and we're, half, we're about halfway through once we've done this row, aren't we? Halfway through. And you've got then eight pages of instructions for this one row. How amazing is that? Very, very thorough. Hold your hand all the way through. Um, and of course, you've got the demo from today to be able to watch back as well. There's plenty of diagrams as well as text. If you've not yet started the, the quilt, don't worry. You can still buy rows one, two, and three. One and two are a bumper pack to start with, uh, which is this one. You have everything that you need, including, did you say there were needles in here as well to start you yeah. off? There, there is thread, um, there are needles, and I think we put a quick unpick as it in as well. Oh, great, 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 great. If you're starting a, uh, yeah, you did. If you're starting yeah. um, any quilting project, it's always useful, isn't it? Well, you, um, I always bang on about co uh, cotton threads, uh, like with like, so natural fibres. So we thought, let's put the threads in so that people will have them. Perfect. And... People are very, well, they're unaware of how important it is to have a sharp needle in their sewing machine. Mm -hmm. So uh, we thought, right, let's uh, add that as a, so that there are no excuses, basically. <laughs> Fantastic. Plus you sort of welcome, welcome little brochure at the start as well, your hints yeah. and tips. tips. Yeah. Uh, keep hold of that. Plus then, uh, obviously, you've got the, the second row in there as well. Row three is your applique, uh, which is this one, your applique flower row. And um, because we've used so many different colours for the flowers, we have included, I think it's four. Is it four? Yeah, four different threads it's, you've got. And yeah. these are all cotton again. So you've yeah. got your teal, your pink, your purple and your green. Because yeah. otherwise you can be rooting through your stash and thinking, I haven't and got the right colour to go with it. it's just not, you know, it's worth getting the right colour. It's a little bit more forgiving. There you go, you've done it for us. Thirty-two ninety-nine. If you do want to start the row of the month, um, there is a playlist on YouTube where you can watch all of the shows back with Yvonne. Right, um, are you all sorted? How um, are you getting on? I have... Yeah, I'm just about there because I have, I have now finished the. I'm about to sew the four little squares together to get me to a four patch, um, and hopefully I have dealt with the threading the needle, and I have also just checked the bobbin. It's worthwhile just taking the time whenever something goes wrong. Don't persevere. Just re. Have a look what state the bobbin's in and uh, potentially re-thread. Re re yeah. And it can make a huge difference. So I now have my four patch, which is going to go on to the other side of the two rectangles. So I'm going to so that, and with a bit of luck, I shall complete this third row on here.
Yeah, that sounds much better, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds better. No more clunky, clunky. You can hear it when there's something wrong, can't you? Yeah, it's just like your car. Yeah. Um, so that's going to... And I'm going to press this in away from the four patch in towards the rectangles. And this point, make sure that you have everything the right way round, okay? So we're going to be coming out. Yep, that's the way round I want to be. So I'm just going to join that together down there. They're lovely fabrics as well that you've included. They're all lovely quality quilting fabrics, aren't they? Well, well, it makes it so much easier to work with whenever you have everything the same weight yeah. and everything um, stable. Yeah. You know, that the fabrics are not overly stretchy. Okay, so this is the third row on this Right, I'm going to press inward. I always press from the front. Make sure you don't get any little uh, ridges appearing uh, because it'll alter the size of the, the piece. So that's the wrong way round. That's the right way round, okay? So that is what that block is going to look like when it's completed. Now, I haven't time to sew that together. Mm -hmm. um, so I shall set that there. I will do what, what I've been doing all along is I will complete this row. Here I have the roof for, for this one. And I will post it on uh, Sewing Book... No, not Sewing Book. Sewing Book. book. <laughs> sewing Book Friends. You know yeah, who I mean. Yeah, the Sewing Street Bats. Sewing Bats. Street Bats. The, that's the beast. Oh, thank you. Um, I've been doing that. Um, and actually having some uh, some fun conversations with people so this particular block has our half square triangles okay that are sewn together um, with the cream fabric I would say double check that you actually have the right side of the fabric mm -hmm. then these are going to go along the edges, okay? So I think I'll have a little press of these. All I have done is sewn the little squares to the, to the rectangle and these will form the top and the bottom of the block. If I'm, is it important to use a dry iron, especially with the smaller pieces, so you don't warp yeah. it? Yeah. Um, I'm not a, a, a lover of steam. Steam is great if you need things to stretch. Mm -hmm. If you don't want them to stretch, um, then don't put steam near what you're working on. And of course, you're pressing, you're not ironing. Right, there's yeah. a difference, isn't there? There, a, there is a, a very significant <laughs> difference, especially whenever you would be pressing this seam, for example, ah. because both pieces are on the bias. And if you press along it, you're going to stretch it. If you press across it, you'll be okay. So when somebody brings you a shirt and asks you to iron it whilst you've got the iron out, you say, no, I'm not ironing, I'm pressing. pressing. There is a big difference. <laughs> you have learnt the vital <laughs> words. I actually hate ironing, but it makes such a difference on pressing. I really enjoy the pressing it's a, it's, process. It's of the an sewing. absolutely different, oh, yeah. different thing. I, yeah, I can't say that ironing is one of my favourite things, especially T-shirts. Yeah. I hate doing T-shirts, but there you go. So, um, so I, I would just say that this, uh, this programme is a week later than it was scheduled to be because of clearance last week. Oh, yeah. But the next row is scheduled... Um, for the 17th of August, so okay. it's basically back in the same position in the month as it was. Um, so that, just so that everyone knows when to tune in, yeah. And I don't know why I managed to do this, but it is actually my birthday. On the 17th of August? On the 17th of oh, August. Oh, brilliant! So, um... Do you know who you're on with? Do you know who's here the 17th of August, Kat? 
We need to bring some cake in then. Right, I'm sure John and Hannah will be organising oh, well, the cake yeah, Well, who then. knows? Who knows? But uh, just as a... At, at least I know which day it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm back next week. How are you? Oh, well, it's either a feast or a famine. Yeah, you like the buses. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I have half square triangles, yeah, that I am now going to sew together to create the other half of that. Can I chunter on a little bit longer? How we get on, Kat? How much? Uh, yeah, we've still got five minutes. I suppose we've, we've spoken about the kits a few times anyway, so you can keep going. Okay, because um, what... Um, as as I make up the the second quilt, really, I have been trying to do just something a little bit different with them, just to give people ideas. Yeah. So, so like you did the butterfly instead of the cat. What that, are you going to change up with this row? Well, I am not 100% sure, but I thought they don't have to be in the order that we have put them. So I thought I might have a slightly different um, layout of houses. And that is not going to be a problem um, because the, uh, whole, the whole row still will, will still fit. come to the same mm -hmm. width, which yeah, is that the makes important sense. thing. Yeah. And I just thought... Um, Go wild. Change uh, it up. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and just to encourage people to, to think a little bit for themselves. You know, yes, we have done all the hard work. We're supplying you with the colours, the, inst the instructions, the, um, uh, the right tools for the job. But then it is nice to actually um, put a bit of yourself in. Now, I know that one lady has already added a cat and a dog oh, right. to hers. Um, and actually quite a multicoloured cat and dog. And I just thought, yeah, that's making it your own. And so just to keep going along, putting a little bit of yourself in. Now, next time's row is the foundation piece trees and the shop. Hang on, we've got FPP in this quilt. Foundation paper piecing. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, my word. Well, this is a, a learn as you go, isn't it? And we're oh, try, if we we're, can We that. really are trying to put different techniques in so that people are, are learning but creating something that uh, they're going to be very proud Has of. Has the shop got um, more applique in as well? What's the shop? Yes. Block, yeah. Yes. Now, that is going to go on the side. Okay. That's on the side, that's on the side, that's across the bottom, and that's on the top. Amazing. So we ha I haven't made as much of this as I thought I might, but I do have some finished, a couple of finished ones here, and I thought it would be nice to just... Yeah, we can lay them out. And see. Just have a little bit of a... So that um, is where we would have started before, but how about having the two sort of terraced houses on, on the, the edge? edge? Yeah. Or having these two together. And I, then I think I would have that. Then I might well let these stay in the middle. But then I would have the second one. Oh, I'm running out of roofs and things here. Yeah. Let me just move the sewing machine a little bit. But you see, just you kind of get in a different character. Um, it is important, I think, that you uh, make sure that you are balancing, balancing the red roofs. Mm, yeah. Because they do, the red does pull your eye in quicker than uh, most things. So let's put that there. And then. So I think that might be how mine, my houses go in the end. Yeah, we'll see it on the like, uh, on the Facebook page then. Yeah, fantastic. So something something like that along the way. Yeah, brilliant.
Thank you very, very much. Well, you're most welcome. Do something different then next week. What are you doing next week? I am doing uh, a lap quilt. I'm going to uh, do, a, it's a Moda fabric lap quilt called uh, Kansas Serenade. I'm going to revisit the uh, the sailboats that we did a little while back because there were just a few ifs and buts and things that happened that day. Okay. Uh, it was the day you moved channels. Oh. It was uh, not as straightforward as it might have been. Oh, so we'll bring that back for anyone who missed it. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. Lovely to see you. It's so lovely to see you. And if I don't see you, have a lovely birthday then next oh, month. Thank you. And fingers <laughs> crossed, next time I see you, you will have a floor. Yeah. It'll all be decorated. I'll have been to Belfast and back. Yes, you'll have had an amazing time at your uh, at your show yeah. as well. So, oh, oh, thank you ever so much. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon, Yvonne. Right, do make sure you check out your baskets on row four. Very, very, very busy today. We're going to come back with Delphine with loads of projects, doing a huge roundup. Plus... Did you miss the quilt uh, confetti quilting instructions? We've managed to get more in stock. Stay with us. We're going to be launching them right after this. Hi, it's Yvonne at Village Fabrics here. I just wanted to share another row of the Village Street row a month with you. This time we are doing foundation piece trees, our topiary trees with some embroidery and the Village Shop where you can personalise to your heart's content. Uh, on the uh, TV show, I will be showing you how to do the foundation piecing and giving you some ideas as to how to personalise it. I do hope you'll find the time to join us and uh, have some fun.